Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, this uh, another video for practice for beginners. And in this video, although it looks like a very simple one, but it has some concept on it. Uh, first, we need to know that what is the best way or the efficient way of doing it and how you're gonna start. So as you can see, there is a rod here and this rod has uh, a length here, like this is the first part is is 80 millimeter going up in the in the front plane going up 90 degrees and then it was bended uh, 30 uh, 45 degrees and the length here is 30 millimeter for 45 degrees and then you go vertical again uh, 60 millimeter uh, vertical okay and at the at toward the, the bottom here like half of the length this is 80 so 40 of it will be threaded actual thread and this thread will be m6 uh, with a pitch about one millimeter okay so without further ado let's go to solid edge and start the the solution okay so now here is solid edge this is the metri uh, uh, ansi metric because the dimension are in millimeter mm -hmm. so the first thing i'm going to do is just what you need to have the base reference i'm going to make it on i have the base reference they are on I'm going to start either by the top plane, and then the top plane, okay, I'm going to lock myself to the top plane. Okay, now I have to, to choose one of the drawing tool, okay, it's okay, now one of the drawing tool. I'm going to go to the top plane, and what, go to the top, and I'm going to put the base, which is the circle by center which is how much six millimeter which is the thickness of the rod so i'm going to put six millimeter and i'm going to put it here somewhere in the middle in the, in the corner here now i'm done with the circle now i need to draw the the uh, the center line of the rod okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to change back to go to what to the front plane so i'm going to go back home again and I'm going to click on this one to get out. And I need to lock myself to the front plane. So I'm going to click one of the tools, the, the, the drawing tools, which is the line. And in this case, I need to lock myself to what? To the front plane. So here is the front plane. I'm locked to the front plane. Now I'm going to go to the front and start the, 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 the drawing. So I'm going to go to the first line is what is 80 millimeter. I like to go to 80 and the angle is vertical so it's 90 degrees and what I'm going to do I just take it and put it here at the coordinate axis okay now the next step is I'm going to reduce it by the roller mouse I need to move 30 millimeter so I'm going to put 30 millimeter 30 enter and the angle should be 135 135 enter. very good so now the next step is what let me move this one down first i need to add another third, uh, line which will be vertical connected to the tip here it should be vertical how much 60 enter and the angle will be 90 degrees because it's vertical 90 enter. so i'm gonna go back here to this location i'm gonna click at the tip here okay right click to get out so i will able to draw the the the, the, the center line of the rod okay now let me let me move to make it uh, cover the whole screen okay here it is and okay now the first step is just i need to make the bend the curvature here so i'm going to choose uh, fillet and i need this fillet here is about 10 millimeter radius 10 millimeter enter and it should be for what for both here in the corner here and i'm going to get on the corner here so this way i was able to get the curvature okay 
Now, the next step is what I need to draw to get the rod, the actual rod. So, the, as I mentioned, the best way is going to do it by sweep. And when I do the sweep, it will ask me for I'm going to use a single path and the cross section, which is this command here. Highlight it, make sure it is highlighted. So, I say OK. Now it will come to ask me where is the path and where is the cross section. So, the path here is highlighted. So, I'm going to click on this line here. So now we choose, he chooses the path. So we say, okay, accept. Then the next step will ask you, what is the cross section? Now what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna go down here, try to rotate it a little bit like this. Yeah, here it is, okay. And then what? Click, choose the circle. So I'm gonna choose the circle. Once I choose the circle and I say, oh, <laughs> it is already okay. So I can say it created the rat, okay. Then, if you like it, then say finish. So I'm going to click on finish. So now it is finished and cancel. Okay. So I was able to create the rod, the bended rod. Okay. Like the next step is to create the physical thread. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just rotate this one a little bit like this. Okay. So let me do it like in this direction here. Okay. 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 This one. Okay, let me hide the, I don't need the uh, the plane. I need to hide this uh, plane, re this reference plane. Yes. Okay, I hide all of them. And also I'm going to hide what? The correct axis. Okay, let me zoom also to this location here. So I'm going to say, okay. Okay, here it is. Okay, and now we need to do the thread. So how to do the thread? I'm gonna choose under hole. I'm gonna click on thread. When you click on the thread, there is a menu will come. Oh, by the way, uh, before I forget, uh, this is uh, Solid Edge version what? 2023. When any command, the, the, the menu comes vertically. In the old version before 23, starting 22 and before, the, the, the command will come horizontal. Okay, it doesn't shouldn't bother you. It should be the same process and so on. Uh, the extent type, so I need to, this is, uh, I need only about 40 millimeter only threaded. So I'm gonna say the extent type, I'm gonna click on this one and it's, it's a finite value. And it will ask me for how much this finite value from the edge here. And I'm going to say, okay, this is, I need it to be 40. And, and then after then that, okay, the next step is going to say, no, I need it to make it, uh, here recognize because of dimension is six, it's going to be M6 because this is a matrix. So now I'm going to say physical thread. I'm going to click on physical thread. It will give me an arrow, say accept, say, okay, yes. Continue, yes, say yes. When you say yes, it's going to come as a physical thread, real actual thread. Okay. Now, in the option, just to make sure that everything is perfect, so I'm going to check on the option. In, in the old version, I like to start with the option. <laughs> then I can put everything and just execute it. So I know that it's the NC metric and this M6, M6, it's a 6 millimeter. Or if it was done wrong, then you can fix it here. And then finite element is 40. And then what the bit is what one millimeter, so it's a M6 dash one. Uh, if you want to familiar with the metric system, okay. But this is what I think. So we say okay, and this way we were able to accomplish the task in a very efficient and very beautiful way, okay. So here is the rod, okay. And now, just one thing I'm just gonna make it out of chrome, so the material. So I'm gonna choose view and then part to enter it will open the last item i used it was chrome so i'm gonna chrome is fine so i'm gonna it will stay and then i'm gonna click on the object it will become chrome so this is made of chrome so this is the product part. okay uh, so now we are done i would like to thank you for watching the video and i would like to hear back from you for any comments or any uh or I forgot or something like that or something to improve the value of the the, 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 the experience of in, in using solid edge.
uh, again let me conclude by thanking you for watching the video and I really appreciate that uh, your uh, time and please if you have any idea or any comment please provide your feedback you and if you like the video please subscribe to the channel uh, click the bell and give it a thumb up have a wonderful day and see you soon on another video bye bye